How does one cultivate compassion while dealing with an annoying neighbor? Dealing with an annoying neighbor can be a source of stress and frustration but cultivating compassion can help transform this situation into an opportunity for growth and understanding. In Zen philosophy, compassion is considered a key aspect of one's spiritual development and is seen as a way to reduce suffering and increase happiness, both for oneself and others. One way to cultivate compassion while dealing with an annoying neighbor is to practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is the act of bringing one's attention to the present moment with an open and non-judgmental attitude. By focusing on the present moment and the sensations of the body, one can reduce feelings of stress and anger and maintain a sense of calm even in challenging situations. Another way to cultivate compassion is to practice non-attachment. In Zen philosophy, attachment to outcomes and expectations can lead to suffering and dissatisfaction. By letting go of expectations and accepting things as they are, one can cultivate a sense of peace and contentment, even in the face of adversity. This can also help reduce feelings of annoyance and frustration towards the neighbor. One can also try to understand the neighbor's behavior and the reasons behind it. Perhaps the neighbor is going through a difficult time and their behavior is a manifestation of their own suffering. By cultivating empathy and understanding, one can reduce feelings of anger and frustration and increase feelings of compassion and kindness towards the neighbor. In addition to these mental practices, one can also use physical practices to reduce stress and cultivate compassion. For example, taking slow, deep breaths and focusing on the sensations of the breath can help calm the mind and reduce feelings of anger and frustration. One can also use this time to stretch or move their body, increasing their overall sense of well-being and reducing physical tension. Furthermore, one can use this situation as an opportunity for self-reflection and introspection. By reflecting on one's own behavior and how it may contribute to the situation, one can gain deeper insight into their own patterns of thinking and behavior. This can help one take responsibility for their own actions and reduce feelings of resentment towards the neighbor. One can also try to communicate with the neighbor in a calm and non-confrontational manner. By expressing one's concerns and working towards a solution, one can reduce feelings of frustration and increase the chances of resolving the issue. This can also help one cultivate compassion and understanding towards the neighbor, leading to a better relationship between the two. In conclusion, while dealing with an annoying neighbor can be challenging, it is possible to cultivate compassion with the right techniques and a mindfulness-based approach. By practicing mindfulness, non-attachment, empathy, physical techniques, and engaging in self-reflection and communication, one can reduce feelings of stress and frustration, increase self-awareness, and cultivate a sense of compassion and happiness, even in challenging situations.